I'm particularly proud of this building because one, we're at the leading edge, you know, in NASA and in, uh, in the country to some extent of really pushing green buildings and showing that the green buildings can really allow us to do our job better at the same time as reducing our, our carbon footprint. So that really makes me proud that JPL, in addition to being at the leading edge of space exploration, we are the leading edge of the movement of having green buildings. The sustainable design of the project really started uh, without any special systems or any you know high new technologies. It was really about kind of just being smart about the envelope and the design of the building. So when you see the project, uh, what you'll find is that the east and west sides of the building are very solid, and that's because low sun angles are really hard to protect. So we want to try to minimize openings. Uh, this freed us up to open up the north and south to a lot more glass. So that's what you see when you walk around the building. It's kind of a four-sided uh, approach to the design. Uh, the south is protected with horizontal sunshades, and then the north is wide open, uh, so we can let as much diffuse daylight in as possible. I think what we were able to demonstrate with this project is the ability to essentially up-lead the project, or up-rate it essentially, where on the silver budget, we were able to get gold. And that's simply a process of how we design buildings, because sustainability is inherent in this building. And when you sort of see the slides and all the pictures of it, you understand that, that sustainability is ingrained in the building's DNA. The green roof is a great technology, not only for kind of the aesthetic views, but also uh, it allows us to insulate the auditorium and uh, make it more energy efficient. It also allows us to kind of slow down uh, stormwater runoff so that uh, it doesn't hit the site. It's a very sloped site, so we want to try to slow down water runoff as much as possible, so it's really effective for that. And then it also, uh, the plant uh, shades uh, the, the roof of the auditorium, and so that uh, increases the energy efficiency uh, of the strategy for the overall project. Yeah, this building was conceived about six, seven years ago, and the idea behind it is to bring all the people who are working on projects and co-locate them together and provide them with the right facilities, displays, and so on, so they can be much more effective in their managing and overseeing and basically designing a new project. So on any given floor, there might be different projects. They have war rooms that would be dedicated to those projects and also sort of be able to uh, illustrate those to the rest of the lab using the auditorium. And the 400 seat fixed seat auditorium is uh, like no other space that they have on the lab currently. Swinerton Builders and LPA started uh, from day one with partnering. Uh, we all knew the challenges out in front of us and uh, we both know information is the key to success. So sharing information on both sides of the table, I believe, was a key element. Uh, I think we all came in it with our own doubts as far as, you know, we're still getting to know each other. We don't, we haven't worked with each other and whatnot. So once we all really bought into that whole concept of partnering, I think we established a very good working relationship. And this is something that I, I will take with me to other projects. I think a lot of times what happens when it's not an integrated approach, people tend to kind of collect money over here and kind of watch their own dollars. But when uh, the team is synced up and ready to go, everyone pushes all the dollars into the middle and then the team decides how to best allocate that. And a great example of that is the auditorium at the Jet Propulsion Labs. Kenny Lee, our structural engineer, our structural team, uh, came up with a great design that came in two to three pounds per square foot less than expected. That cost savings was decided to be allocated to the auditorium. So we were able to buy a green roof and a displacement ventilation system for the auditorium and really make it the flagship of sustainability for the project. It's a great demonstration for all of the federal agencies to really show that sustainability doesn't have to add cost, it's really about adding values. Clearly being a green building is one of the most important features. But also in addition to that, we were able to have a building which is very effective and efficient for the purpose of the people who are working in it. You know, the layout, the capabilities. And this shows that by being a green building, we don't have to compromise the functionality of the building. So in that way, we both have a win-win situation. It's highly functional for our purpose, and at the same time, it has a low carbon footprint.